What's up guys, Zoe here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial about how to create an order form using Google Forms. This could be a temporary solution if you can't quite get your website up and running just yet. Disclaimer, it is no, by no means an e-commerce solution, but let's begin. So first you want to open up Google Forms and select a blank form. So now you're going to want to click this gear icon. I said no thanks. Select this gear icon and I want you to click collect email addresses and also response receipts. And I'm going to choose always because you want your customers to get their receipts. All right? And now you're going to save. All right, so we're going to this, this icon with the eye. It's a preview icon, so if you click that, you get a preview of your form. And this palette right here means that you can customize the look. So you can change the color, you can also choose an image. And you can see here that they have images that you want, um, that you can choose from. But you can also upload. Right, I'm just gonna scroll through here. see if I find anything I right, want to select this and insert it. all right so now you want to give your form a title such as the name of your business uh, with order form at the end of it so I'm going to name mine uh, elite ebooks order form all right so next you're going to want to give a description uh, this description can have important stuff such as your business email address or your telephone number or what this form is about all right so I'm going to be like mm, order to be processed in 24 hours contact us at uh, our email address Anyways, you guys can just put in whatever you want. You can put in your, your phone number if you like. It's up to you, really. All right, so now we're going to add questions by clicking, by clicking this plus sign here. And you see that it gives you the option to add a question. So you can add items with any of the following formats, such as short answer paragraph multiple choice check boxes drop down you can also upload files but you won't be needing that so since you're going this is our order form you're going to need your customers information such as the name the email the content number all right so here and put name and see it automatically puts it as a short answer so you can also put a little description so you go here and you add description. So you can say, please enter full name. You don't have to, but you can, it'd be nice that they have a little description. So I want you to click require because you want them to fill in that. Right. You can also copy this. And and delete it like this so we're going to add another thing you're going to have name all right let's go for contact here you can also add a number you can also validate this response so you want this is a number 
and if you get a in case it on um, into text you can say please enter a number Alright, so now you need to add your products. And if you want, you can offer a few predetermined options. Right, so I'm going to add, so I'm going to make this checkbox. So, right, so I'm going to say, please select ebook. Um, I'm just going to give some random how to. add right here how to um, speak Jamaica. these are just random ebooks that I don't really have this just for the purpose of the example So you also want to make sure that this is required. Contact required. All right, so if uh, you're a company or if you're a business and you have a large variety of stuff, you can let this field be a long text and the customer can just enter what they want instead. All right, so now that we have this contact, ebook, now you're going to want to add your delivery options. So I you can call this delivery method. Right. Oh, before I forget right here, I recommend that you add the cost of the item. Uh, this is Jamaican dollars and this is just let's pretend not real. delivery method which is cash on delivery or um, I guess um, uh, shipping all right whatever delivery method you guys have you, you enter that thing you said this is also required and last but not least uh, payment I guess payment method Have cash here and uh, it's PayPal uh, with cash. I guess you can only do that for here. Cash on delivery, that'll be a pickup. you can add your your PayPal link or your PayPal email address so I guess this is just an example it's not really my PayPal okay this is also required Alright, so I, I wouldn't recommend that you accept secure information such as bank or credit card information as this presents a risk to your customers. Alright, so all you need to do now is test your form and you can preview it. Oh, email address, name, contact. Okay, and you want 
to name your form. See, it automatically does it ebook order form. So you can just send a copy of this link via email, or you can copy the link here and distribute it among your social media platforms. So you can either leave it in your Instagram bio or on Facebook. It's really up to you. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Goodbye.